Are mirrors basically bad when they're just showing you exactly where you are? Or is the goal to actually get yourself to a point whereby the mirror is perceived or is showing you that there are positive signs or elements? Well, the answer to this one is not going to come with a direct answer. It's going to come with giving you actual exposure to a bit of information, which will then give you a greater understanding to exactly what it is that we're looking at. And the question itself is more related to the seven are seen mirrors of relationship. And what you're talking about when it comes to happy is self-perception. And what you're doing is looking at the seventh mirror. And you've also got the mirror of judgment, which is mirror two, also part of it. But we're gonna look at mirror one. So mirror number one is actually who we are in the moment. And who we are in the moment is dependent upon reflections or projections, but ultimately there's a third element which is actually a rejection. And what I mean by this is we have the reflection of who we are in the moment. And that reflection of who we are in the moment is based on our surrounding and us being isolated or us being on our own. However, most people have relationships. And I don't just mean like coupled relationships or romantic relationships or friendships. We have relationships that are designed to show us all of these mirrors. And that could be a parent relationship, a sibling relationship. And we have to basically get to the bottom of working these out and working out what the message is. So when we have a look at these relationships, what we're actually doing is we're trying to gauge who we are in the moment. So you will find that there are relationships that you engage in that show you exactly where you are in the moment. And you'll find that there are elements that are then subdivided that then show you exactly who you once were or where you once were. And in showing you who you once were and where you once were, you can then gauge whether or not there is a need to change that relationship. So you can have somebody going through the same things as you, challenges, same patterns, same traumas, and you obviously align with them from a place of guiding each other through and seeing if you can work out the pieces of the puzzle to then get to a position whereby you can then move forwards. And that then becomes the initial reflection. However, we then have people who are behind us in terms of our own development or behind us in terms of where we once were. And when we have a look at where they are in terms of where we once were, then we have to reject them. But it doesn't necessarily mean from a place of getting rid of them. But when it comes to old energy, some of these energies get stuck and they stay around. So it would be beneficial for you to get rid of certain people, certain environments and certain conditioning that no longer serves. And then what has to happen is they have to disappear in order for you to progress and move forward. So we have the rejection side, which is where we once were that we're going away from. And the problem is if that pulls us back to that place, then we're not gonna have a positive effect. It's gonna be a negative effect. Then where we are is obviously mirrored. So once we get beyond where we are, we then have to go to where we're wanting to be or where we're potentially going to be, which is a projection element. And the third element is that projection element whereby we're projecting onto other people or we have traits, characteristics or skills that somebody needs to learn in order to then project a future version of ourselves. And then that future version of ourself then becomes the whole game. So the question then starts to go into play, whereby if we are projecting onto somebody else, then how quickly can we learn that in order for that to then become our norm? And then with it becoming the norm, we can then start to then address where we currently are from a place of going back to who we are in the moment. And then who we are in the moment would then be a projection of where we once were in the past. There's a bit of the depth behind it. 
And when we have a look at the mirror itself, on the face of it, it's just who you are in the moment. But in reality, you have to go into the subdivides and you have to get to the position whereby when we address each subdivide, we understand fully exactly where we're going. And when we're going from that place and when we're getting to the position whereby we understand all of that, we can then start making decisions about who we surround ourselves with. We can make future decisions based on what we like, what we don't like, what we need to learn, what we need to develop. And then once we get all of these things into place, we can then start crafting and creating a reality that's more aligned. But as always, until next time, trust the process and it's bye for now.